What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? It's your boy. <laughs> What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? It's your boy Featherstone. Today on the Featherstone show, we got Sweetie Hundos. What up, though? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Today? Thank you for Shoot. coming out. You know, great energy, good vibes per usual. That's what we do. That's we what outside we do. with it. We outside with it. What? No doubt. <laughs> Let's get into the questions. Where are you originally from? LA? Um, I'm originally born in LA, but I represent the D. You feel me? My dad's from Detroit. My mom's from Chicago. So, you know, I grew up between LA and Detroit. I moved around schools from here and there, but I officially graduated high school out there, you know. Okay. Spent some time out there to I figured out what I really wanted to do, which was fashion at first, but I mean, this is before the music, yeah. <laughs> obviously. Uh <-huh. laughs> so, yeah, and then, you know, from there, I, I decided I didn't want to be in Detroit anymore. I wanted to come back to L.A. to uh, start making clothes. Okay. So, that's what I did. So, how long have you been doing music for? Um, music been a part of my life since I was born. But, I mean, I, publicly, I just started about two, three months ago. Okay. <laughs> Crazy part about it. Didn't uh, expect to be... Uh, doing music honestly it was have, always a hobby have you did any shows yet um i think i've done about eight shows so far yeah, in the past two, two months, months. <laughs> oh, yeah, she, yeah, man she, yeah slow down girl <laughs> <laughs> oh ain't no slowing up what we ain't yeah. slowing up nothing no way do you have any uh singles out or or have you dropped the ep yet or? uh no eps yet just singles like i said i'm just taking my time with the music you know i'm i'm not really trying to getting to it too fast right now you know yeah, I just want to take my time and have fun with it and, and see where it goes from there okay okay who's your inspiration um I could say my family is part of my inspiration my dad definitely he used to play the piano we used to sing in the car together Keisha Cole was like one of his favorite artists okay. <laughs> um Nicki Minaj definitely um I always wanted to go to New York, so when I heard about Nicki Minaj, Itty Bitty Piggy was one of the first songs I heard from her. And I always thought she was a dope artist, so, you know, shout out to Nicki. Hopefully, I'll get a song with you one day. I'm going to speak it into existence, you know, manifestation. But, um, yeah, she's one of my biggest inspirations. I love the way she came from the bottom all the way to the top and built her career, and now she's on top. So, who's your top five e MCs? Uh, of course, Nicki Minaj is going to be in that. Uh, man, of course, of course. You already know I got to represent the D. Cash Doll, T. Grizzly, Dave Lowe, Big Sean. I'm sorry. Like, that's where my heart is at right there. Okay, okay. Um, yes, yes. Have you ever... Have you ever done a battle rap before? Uh, no, I've never done a battle rap before. I mean, well, maybe back in high school and like middle school, school days, yeah, you know, okay. when we used to play around. But I mean, as far as like, since I've been doing music publicly, nah, no battle raps. Okay, would you ever do one? Um, maybe one day. <laughs> I, I think I have to prepare a meal for y'all okay. so y'all can eat some good dinner. All right, all right. <laughs> What's the most difficult part about being a female uh, artist? Um. I could say people taking you serious. Mm. That's definitely, I, I feel like a lot of female artists can relate to this. You know, people taking you serious, you know, being around male producers and, you know, it's kind of hard, you know, cause they be trying to flirt and <laughs> I'm just keeping it real. Uh, like, yeah, yeah. be all the other in betweens, you know, trying to get music done. But yeah. I won't say everybody, but people just, I honestly, in my opinion, like, I feel like the music industry for female sex symbolizes a lot of sexual things and stuff like that. I don't feel like there's nothing wrong with it, but me personally, I just don't want to be in that category too, too much yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. I don't want to really represent that like that because I want a person to take me serious, yeah, you know. I should hear what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Not for my looks, for but what I'm really saying. Yeah, yeah that's a good answer right there. Uh, how do you feel about hip-hop nowadays? Um, <laughs> hip-hop nowadays, I like the old school hip hop better. Okay, all right. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, there's some dope artists out here nowadays, but I just feel like without the old his the old school hip hop it yeah. wouldn't be hip hop now. Just yeah. keeping it real. Uh, I like I like that. A lot of artists I uh, ask that question too, they be like, uh like just go ahead and say it. The shit was better back in the day. You know? <laughs> it was, it was. <laughs> it was, it was the original. Yeah. So that's why we one of my favorite artists actually is Sam Cook though. If you want me okay. to take it back back. So yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's my guy right there. Sure. What album changed your life and what's your favorite verse from a rapper? Hmm, that's a good word. 
Uh, gotta think about this one. Dang, I'm thinking in between Drake and Nicki Minaj. Uh, what's the verse? You, that, what's the verse that come to mind going out from one of them? I could say Nicki Minaj and Drake the song Moment for Life because, you know, every moment I have, that's the good time. But I just want to hold on to it because, you know, it's a lot of stuff going on nowadays in the world, you feel me? And I just hope I get out, give, be able to live out my dreams, you know? Because, man, I see a lot of artists just passing away nowadays, you know? It kind of, that's why I said I don't want to jump, just jump right into the fame, you know, trying yeah. to sign a record deal and stuff like that. I just want to take my time and see how, what I can really do with the music, what I can bring to the table that's different, you know? Education, fundamental, and real, and really relating to people in a real way, you know? Not being on booty stuff, if I ever did get that far out, I, I still would be a regular person to me. Like, yeah. I wouldn't take it to the head, you know? I always want to stay focused and remember where I came stay from. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Um, in your opinion, what is your strength and what is your weakness? Do you have a weakness? <laughs> I do. Okay. I care so much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sometimes that could be a good and bad thing, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, sometimes I feel like I'm always into too much other people and helping them instead of just helping myself. So if I wanted to be honest, you know, just giving them all real high, I really feel. Okay. And what's a strength? A strength, um, I'm ambitious. I never give up. Okay. I'm always keep going no matter what. Even if I fall, you know, I'm gonna get back up and keep running. Okay. Um, at the stage you're in right now, what goals do you have? Um, well, my I would say I have three goals right now. Um, number one is priority is keeping up with school right now. I currently enroll myself in the school because I want to learn a little bit more about business. Uh, music? Oh, okay. Um, no, not really music. I mean, I feel like you don't have to study music. It's in you. Mm -hmm. Honestly, it's just always been in me. So, okay. so music is a part of my goal. I, I want to drop an EP next year before the summer from for my birthday, which is in May. So that's something I want to work on. Definitely, definitely giving y'all new music, good vibes for sure. And then my last goal is just getting my business back up and running. Uh, we closed for a little while because I wanted to change the name and stuff like that. Um, we used to be called Sweet Candy Gloss. Okay. Um, but we have changed the name now. Uh, we are officially on V Cosmetique. And I'm excited to open up in January 20th. <laughs> it's okay, next right, year. Right, right. Now, not, not only she does music, but she makes her own lotion and face wash. Go oh, ahead yeah. and pull that out for them to see. Oh man, yeah, Look, I forgot got about that. Yeah. For y'all, man. You know we got a couple well, we, of we got here. Go ahead and take it out. Well, before I start with the face washer store, of course, you know, ladies, I got the Meek Lashes. Got the lashes for y'all, ladies. Good quality, nothing but the best. Whatever y'all want to need, you can send a request. I got y'all. She got you, you feel me? You feel me? So the, the lashes that y'all got now like to be falling off and shit. be like, yeah, she no, got, none of that. Got good, good, everything good quality. Got good quality. And then we have your body scrub right here. This is the XO body scrub. This is made with sheer butter, raw honey, and sugar. Vitamin E oil, coconut oil. This is really good for exfoliating the skin. When you're in the shower, get yourself down. You want to apply. Don't scrub too, too hard, but just enough to exfoliate that skin and give you a nice, smooth, what? Right, right. Soft skin. I'm telling you, it's, it really works. really works. And if you have dry skin, this is really good because not only does it help with getting rid of the dead skin, mm -hmm. it helps moisturize it even when you get rid of it. Okay, okay. We then we got lotion. some lip gloss. Okay, lip gloss. You feel me? Okay. Lip gloss popping. You feel me? Going okay. on. <laughs> we gonna drizzle drizzle a little bit of that on there, so y'all can see what that is, what it do. You know, that's right there. You gonna get that right there. Okay, yeah, that's a nice bottle. <laughs> Oh yes, this uh, this right here, I, I hand picked this. You designed this. that? Or? Uh, well, I had custom designed it. I asked them, I, my vendor, I wanted them to put a hook on it so nobody would lose their lip gloss, and you could just put it right on your key, mm -hmm. and then boom, you never have to worry about your lip gloss going anywhere. Because I swear, I've lost so many lip glosses, and I'd be so sad because it's like, dang, I made it myself. Yeah, so yeah, it'd be yeah. really like, 
heartbreak. It'd be like, dang, all my hard work. I'm just letting go to. Yeah. I admit, shame on me. <laughs> and then um, I also have some soaps here. I have the oat milk and honey soap right here. This is made with real oatmeal. So I have three layers. And this is what the layer made with the oatmeal. This is good for exfoliating the skin and the face. So you can go on the face and body. Um, this is the honey layer. This is made with honey, um, coconut oil, vitamin E oil, vitamin C oil. I, I put vitamin E oil and vitamin C oil in every single last of my product because it's really good for the face, body, and skin. It's good for moisturizing your skin, keeping it from being dry. And it's winter time, y'all, so y'all want to keep your skin moisturized. And then I have the last item. We have a lot more stuff in stock, but I'm just giving y'all a few samples and you know previews. <laughs> but this is our African uh, African black soap face cleansing mask. So this is good for washing the face. It's either you can do it in the daytime. I mean, yeah, the daytime routine or at nighttime. But you don't want to do both, either the day or the night. Um, okay. And then if you want to know more information, you guys can go on our website at Ambi cosmetic dot store get yes. it get it thank you so much for being on the show now at the end of the featherstone show what we like to do we like to let artists perform you know show their talents and whatnot you ready to go on the mic i was born ready she's Listen. born ready man let's get into it y'all stay tuned they couldn't walk eight miles in my shoes even if they wanted to down yeah this journey was a milestone but thank god i made it through I go Cause I'm a self-made boss Cause I'm a self-made boss And I know what it costs Hit, yeah. hey, let's get it Cause I'm a self-made boss Yeah, I'm a self-made boss Know what I'm talking about? Boss up, ah Man, struggle, baby Fuck God, baby Shout out to my haters Then my motivators Whole squad up We just elevated Money out of love No calculated Go ahead and shout out your Go ahead. She, she forgot to shout out her brand. Yeah! Yeah, you feel me? Let's fucking go. Let's go, man. I'm from Detroit. My dad was Russian. Man. Sold everything to come here. I was six hey, years old. I you lived in me, Detroit. Yo. I worked you know, at Quick and Loans and I moved baby. out here. You know Let's what fucking is. go. Let's go. Let's fucking Representing go. Representing in the city. Man, I'm telling you. You see how powerful I am? <laughs> I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm coming. Detroit. Detroit. You came all the way from Detroit just, you to, feel me? just, just, just to say that shit. Just, just say that shit. <laughs> I got a fight in town. <laughs> Featherstone show, man. Y'all check out. She forgot to shout out her uh, Oh, yeah. Show Don't brand. forget the label. Don't forget the brand. She is hustle. I am she. She is me. She is hustle. Because that's what we do. We hustle. You yeah. feel me? Period. Hey, make sure y'all tap in. We out. Yeah, Venice Beach sure. with it. You know who I be, baby. Made ball. Hey. And I know what it costs. Ah. Cause I'm a self made ball.